Hello, my name is George and welcome to Fun Science Demos. In front of you, you see a wonderful learning tool from the BBC that we can explore together and find out some fun facts about light. Sometimes when scientists explore, they like to write things down in their journal or their notebook. Sometimes they make observations and diagrams. You may want to do this also as we go through the questions. In the first part of this learning tool, we're in a darkened room with a light source. The light is over here and a screen over here, and we can place objects in between the light source and the screen. For our first question, we'll ask, what happens to the shadow over here when we place different objects in front of the light beam? Right now, there's a watering can, but we can place a bouquet of flowers, a rubber ducky, or a paper hat in front of it. So let's think, what would happen if we replaced the watering can with the flowers. Let's try it. Hmm, that's interesting. Now let's try the rubber ducky. I wonder what will happen when we put that in the beam of light. Hmm. Now we can try the paper hat. Can you predict what will happen? Cool. Another thing we can do is we can move the light closer to the object. So take a look at that paper hat. And what we're going to do now is we're going to grab this bar up here and we're going to see if we can move it closer. For question number two, let's ask what will happen when we move it closer? Let's see. Hmm. And what happens when we move the light back to its original spot? when we move it further away from the object. Hmm. For question three, we can use these buttons right over here to decrease the amount of light that's coming out of our light source. I wonder what will happen to the shadow when we decrease the amount of light. Let's try it and see. Hmm. Let's increase the amount of light. Interesting. With this learning tool, we can also, using this handle right here, we can move the light source up and down. I wonder what will happen for question number four. I wonder what will happen to the light when we move the light beam up and down. What happens to the shadow? Hmm. In part two of this learning tool, we can go outside. We leave the darkened room that we're in now and go outside. So I'll click on the outside button, and here we are in a scene that has the sun, a tree, and other objects that we can put in this scene, just as we did on the inside. For question number five, we'll take a look at what objects we can put in and try and predict what will happen to our shadow. So let's try, instead of the tree, Let's try the truck. I wonder what will happen to the shadow. Hmm. Let's try this iron frame and glass house. I wonder what will happen when I replace it. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's go back to the tree. In part two, we can also move from a sunny day to a moonlit night. I wonder what will happen for question number six. I wonder what will happen if we click on this button and turn it into a night with a full moon instead of a bit bright sunny day. Hmm. Now let's put a truck there instead of the tree. Huh. If you'd like to explore this learning tool on your own, we've linked to it in the video description. It's wonderful. And you can take the quiz at the end too. The big idea here about light is that light can travel in a straight line. In fact, the reason we have shadows is because of that, because light travels in a straight line. When scientists make observations, they write them down. We hope you had a chance to write them down, too. Thanks for exploring with us, and please try it on your own. Science is so cool. Thanks for watching.